In this video, I want to start the year by sharing with you some simple and hopefully entertaining truths about project management. A former colleague of mine by the name of Tony Quigley was famous among his colleagues and contacts for his short, pithy and witty aphorisms about project management. And I've been thinking about them and wanted to share some of them with you. Tony came to mind again when a participant on a recent project management training course came up to me at the end and observed that there were a number of what he called catchphrases that I'd used during the training. And I know I have them. I sometimes try to write them down. He drew my attention to three in particular, and I did write them down. And I do stand by all of them. The difference between mine and Tony's is his are far more witty than mine. But let's start off with three valuable truths which I try to get across in my training. The first is that an absentee project manager is a contradiction in terms. What I mean by that is you can't be an absentee project manager. You can't step away from your project and call yourself the project manager because when you're not there, you're not managing it. And that's when you lose control and the chaos sets in. And of course, that leads me to the second one. The one thing that a project manager craves above all else is control. That's what we're all about. We're all about creating control in a chaotic, complex, uncertain environment. And finally, I was talking about sophisticated project management software. I pointed out that software will do what you tell it to do, not what you want it to do. The point I wanted to make was that if you are going to invest as an individual or as an organization in complex software, whether it's project management software or anything else, then part of your investment has to be in learning how to use it properly. My observation is far too many people use sophisticated project planning software, which does Gantt charts and network charts and work breakdown structures and product breakdown structures and resource histograms. Far too many of them use that kind of software as nothing more than a sophisticated drawing tool. And as we all know, a fool with a tool is still a fool. You may or may not agree with these, but in my mind, they all suffer in comparison with Tony Quigley's aphorisms, sometimes known as Quigleyisms, among his friends. Like another great observer of project management, Bill Brassington, Tony is remarkable for the wit that he's managed to inject into some home truths for project managers and our clients. And a big part for me, a project management is all about setting the mood. So it never hurts to be a bit lighthearted and to share some of these learning opportunities in as witty a way as possible. Bill Brassington, of course, is famous for Brassington's laws and you can find them on the web. There are a lot of them, but I want to quote just one to give you a flavor of what his wit is capable of. If project content is allowed to change freely, then the rate of change will exceed the rate of progress. My favorite from Tony Quigley is that the alternative to incremental development is excremental development. And if English isn't your first language, you might need to look that one up. Before we look at some more Quigleyisms, I want to share with you a couple of witty aphorisms or laws that I've come across in a more general context, probably on calendars or posters that have attributions which I've not been able to validate, rather like Murphy's Law or Sod's Law. If it can go wrong, it will go wrong. And if it can't go wrong, it'll still go wrong. These apply equally well in many domains, but are particularly well suited to the project domain. And just in case the names that are attached to these laws are actually genuine ones, to make sure I do give credit where it's due, I'll tell you how I heard them attributed. 
The first one I saw labelled as Koblitz Law. And this one says that a committee can make a decision which is dumber than any of the individuals. And actually that tracks back to some solid social research and it's known as risky shift. The second is Finnegan's Law. And Finnegan said, the further away the future is, the better it looks. That one is very similar in style to Quigleyisms. So let's finish this short video with a few more of my favourites. Number one, last minute improvements aren't. The alternative to evidence-based decision making is decision-based evidence making. The third, one size fits all is for silly hats. And finally, if you want it bad, you'll get it bad. So there we have some wit and wisdom to start us off in 2020. If you've enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so you don't miss any of our future videos. And I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one.